Hi there, I'm Aurélie Kalinga with a wrap of all your coronavirus news. Infections have increased by 143 in the last 24 hours, bringing the total number of cases to 2,415. Globally, infections are edging towards the 2 million mark. On the economic front, the South African Reserve Bank slashed interest rates by one percentage point. This was to help stimulate the economy as the coronavirus threatens to plunge the country's economy. In a rare media briefing today, Finance Minister Tito Mboweni says South Africans should prepare for a deep recession. But he's hopeful that growth will return slightly next year. The battle of the alcohol ban continues. President Cyril Ramaphosa has asked for an extension until Friday to respond to the Gauteng Liquor Forum's demands. The alcohol, tobacco and property industries were just some of the fields that had requested a review of the current lockdown regulations. The Gauteng Liquor Forum gave Ramaphosa until midday to relax regulations to allow them to run a limited service or meet them in court. They say their businesses have suffered immensely since the state of disaster declaration last month. And government has thanked China and business person Jack Ma for helping the continent with extra medical supplies. For more on your coronavirus news, log on to ewn.co.za forward slash coronavirus.